Hey guys, and welcome to our night review of this awesome 2021 Toyota Supra 3.0 Premium. We've had the privilege of living with this Supra for the past week. So what we're gonna do tonight is a night review of it and show you all the cool lighting elements that is included with this Supra model. But if you're interested in knowing all the details about this Supra, be sure to check out our full review, which can be found on our YouTube channel. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is show you what it does when you unlock the vehicle. So when you press that unlock button, as you can see, your daytime running light illuminates as well as some other lighting elements throughout the vehicle. But I do really like this element of the daytime running light since that's a very signature Supra element. And then if we walk over here, you'll notice that we do also have lighted door handles and this is your typical light BMW door handle. So it has a really nice look to it. But let's go ahead and get in and start the Supra up because even though you're here for the night review, I know you probably want to see all the, or hear that awesome, awesome sound. <laughs> now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. All right, so looking at the exterior of the Supra, obviously this is an absolutely stunning vehicle in the daytime. It's also stunning here at nighttime as well, thanks to the really cool LED lighting elements that you're gonna get. So looking at the headlights, these are some of the coolest headlights that you can get on a modern vehicle. Just look at the design. So we have three individual LED clusters here. Those are for your low beams and you also have your high beams as well that are gonna be LED. And then we have this piece right here, which is your daytime running light, or it also doubles down as your turn signal. And it just has a super premium look. These are also adaptive uh, headlights that also twist and turn, as you'll see when we get inside and start the vehicle up. And then walking over, we have our really cool Supra wheels. And then as far as the mirror is concerned, this is gonna be a fully loaded mirror. It is gonna be auto dimming, which is very much appreciated at nighttime for both the driver and passenger. We also have the LED turn signal indicator and blind spot monitoring. And then if we walk around to the rear design, I can't make up my mind which part I like better, either the rear or the front. I don't know, it looks so good both ways. And here at the rear, you will notice lit up at night it's going to be full led as well which is a nice touch so our tail lights that have that three-dimensional look these are going to be full led and as you can see they just have a super nice look at nighttime we also have led license plate lighting to complete that really cool look and then we will go ahead and pop this cargo area and take a look at what's back here and once we push the button on the inside we can go ahead and lift this up and once we do you're gonna find I think it's a little over 10 cubic feet of space I can't remember from the full review but it is perfectly fine amount of space especially for a sports coupe like this and we do have full LED lighting in here as well so you will be able to see everything that you have in your cargo area uh, regardless of if it's in the daytime or here at night and now let's go ahead and look and see how the inside looks at night your mirrors do fold when you're locked up and unfold when you unlock. So before you power the vehicle on, you do still have your digital gauges that show up here. They're not fully on, but it does have a uh, cool look. We also have our Supra over here with the typical light BMW iDrive look. And then all of our buttons are illuminated. Let's go ahead and start it up. Now I want you to be paying special attention to the headlights. So if we look outside of this cabin, try and get you a good angle for it. The headlights do a little bit of a dance. So when you start it up, as you can see, they kind of bounce down and back up. And when you turn the vehicle off, it does kind of the opposite motion, which I think is really cool. Now, on this model, we do also have a head-up display. I'm struggling to be able to show it to you guys, um, but it's right here. As you can see, it shows up really, really well at nighttime. And then, as far as the headlights themselves are concerned, they are very bright LED headlights. And if we put those brights on, as you can see, look at that. You have great illumination, and you're also gonna have auto high beams with this model. And then coming back, Looking at your steering wheel, you do have 
lit buttons. It's going to be your orange uh, look, which is kind of typical old BMW, uh, but you do have that orange look. And then as far as the gauge cluster is concerned, this is a fully digital gauge cluster. It looks great in the daytime and also here at nighttime to really show you what you need to know most, your RPMs as well as your speed off here to the side. Let's rev it one more time, <laughs> can't get enough of it. And then off on the side here, you have your headlight controls as well as your uh, window switches. Then looking here at the center console, you don't really have any illumination here. That's because you don't have a center console. And then right here, we have all of our buttons for, you can control the iDrive system here. That's all illuminated. Here's our shifter as well. So shifting around here, just pull back for drive. If we go up, that's going to put us in reverse. As you can see, the uh, backup camera is actually pretty good. You have parking sensors as well. And I will say that this backup camera shows up a lot better at nighttime than it does in the daytime because the display is so dim. I can't really see it in the daytime. So it does a good job at night, I will say. And then to put it in park, we just press the P. Up here, we have our climate control buttons. Uh, everything's orange here besides for just the temperature uh, view here. We push our heated seats. It's going to be a green button. And then up top, we do also have an auto dimming interior mirror, and you're not going to have a moonroof. Alrighty, guys, that's going to wrap up this night review of the 2021 Toyota Supra. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to learn more about this vehicle, we have a full review on our channel that includes a comprehensive test drive. We also have a POV drive of this vehicle, so anything you want, you're going to find it on our channel. So be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and also tap that notification bell because it really helps us out. Anyway, we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.